Am I on? Yeah, I'm on. I'm uh, just going to show you around the bike quickly uh, before we turn her on. It's a Super Soco TC Max for me to get to work and back. Just a quick one around the back. It's nice and smooth. Obviously with it being belt driven on a 5.1 kilowatt motor that's in the middle. Uh, let's turn the bike on. I've lit the key, so I should be able to power it on now. I think. Let me just lift the key again. Unlock. And turn power on. There you go. Now she's on. There we go. Nice display. 86% uh, of the battery, so turn 10 miles coming to work today. In mode 3. Meh. Uh, it's in mode 1 at the moment. Um, let me just close it up again. Nice little feature. Uh, but yes, so look at the lights. This is the back are working fine. That's good. I'll just test the brake, brake light in a second. And uh, nice bright lights at the front as well. Let's just get the glove on. Oh, it's been a long day. Right, let me just uh, indicators left, working, indicators right, working. Yep, wicked. Right, we're on our way. Nice, oh, I can get on this nice and easy. Right, so I'll have to put the side side up so it won't go. To press that red button, take it out of park. And it says ready. And that's it, just make sure. Everything I can see, everything, and uh, yeah, we're ready. Let's see what the lights are like. Look good. It's not really dark yet, uh, but uh, let's put it in mode three. Mode three. I've found out what the modes are. Mode 1 gets you to 35 miles an hour, so it saves the actual power output. but you can't go more than 35 miles an hour in Mode 1. We'll try that in a second. I'll just indicate so I'm going this way. Brakes are good. Yeah, we'll switch mode back down to Mode 1. So we're in Mode 1 now. Mode one. If I get, if I give it a bit of welly, she will start cutting power now. So that's its maximum speed. Then when I go to mode two, she'll go up to 50 miles an hour. Yeah, and then stop the power. Then mode three, she will keep going. miles an hour. It's a 50 mile an hour road so I can more than 50. So generally I'll have it on mode 2 because I'm saving power. So it doesn't give you sport power. Mode, mode 3 gives you that. But I can still whiz it up to around 50. I will save battery if I leave it in uh, in that mode. On my EPAP bike, I'm coming home from work, you know, it takes about 40 minutes. So I'm doing about 24 miles an hour max, going down to 23 miles an hour at about 8 ki uh, kilometers, and then about 22 miles an hour for the rest of the journey. And it's just like, okay, yeah, I'm doing on this big long road, 22 miles an hour. I've got flashing lights on the back of it to make sure everybody knows they're coming up to me. But it's just, uh, I have a lot of thinking time. <laughs> But uh, yes, so this will get me home in around about 20 minutes, which is good. And uh, I reckon about 
Maybe third day, probably charge it after three days use. As soon as you touch the brakes, you can't use the throttle, obviously. It cuts the power from the motor. I'm not sure if it regens, I've got to look that up, because I thought it might do. Anyway, if it does, it's only going to be a little bit. I thought it might regen the uh, the motor, would then turn into an alternator or whatever, a generator, whatever they call it, and uh, do that for you. And so I'm not sure on that one. It's wham tonight. I'm going to get myself a little clock to put on there so I know what time it is. So yes, um, battery, I've got 80% of battery left. The little one down the bottom there is the temperature of the actual controller. It's not a temperature, it really move that now because it's, uh, it's at the front is a controller, right at the front. It's got a little weight here, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Yeah, so I got it yesterday. Uh, I've posted the video. Well, you've probably seen that already. I think. And uh, it's just uh, me going to uh, to Putney. I went on three trains to go there. Uh, it was a laugh. Um, and the gentleman was, was selling the bike. Um, I, I just sold my bike. And. Uh, I was looking, I couldn't afford a TC Max. I, I wanted to get an electric bike and I was opening an eye which one to get and I didn't want to get a scooter because I didn't want my feet up. Right, so maybe I'll buy a brand new, um, about 2,899 quid. There was, so I was stretching my budget there for a TSX. And if you do restrict them, which is supposed to be getting hard to do, uh, you get about 43 miles out of them. And this was way out of my budget, the 4,499 quid new. Um, and uh, I just couldn't afford that and there was no second ones on the market then one just popped up uh, and this one popped up and uh, it's a 2021 and uh, so it's only a year old so really I mean it should be going that, that was in a deal that it go for 3499 something like that and uh, he was only asking 2700 because when I rang him and talked to him he wanted to his missus is just having a baby now so he wanted to get a car or he said electric car so he's going to put the money towards that um, so yeah so this was a steal at 2700 quid I couldn't believe it I did an HPI report just to make sure he had had a category N damage in, in June last year and it was repaired by the insurers. It told me the insurance was, I can't remember what it was. Uh, but it was, it fell on its side, so it was um, just panel damage, really. So they call it Capricorn N. So that was, that's not a worry. Most people have it access, as long as it's structurally all right and everything's fine on it, yeah. So, um, obviously it got checked out and I had a good look over it, everything's fine. So everything was replaced as needed, so that's not a worry. When you're going downhill like this, it's quite weird. You don't lose speed. It's not like the uh, uh, the e pad bike. It just it, it will start to slow down. The motor on the back tends to drag it a bit. Where this one tends to just uh, take the throttle off, and it just. But I like the throttle because it's not all instant. If you know what I mean. It's, uh, if I could afford to buy a zero, I would. Because I, I like that torque, that instant torque of a, you know, a high power motor, but this one isn't instant torque, it, it is, it's fun torque, I mean it gets you up there quite quick. But you have to, you know, you, you move the throttle a little bit and it, then it comes in. It's when you, well, like when you set off from the size, like the NIU we've got at home, it, it, you put the throttle, you can put it on full, but you just pick you off at a nice speed then start going a bit more so it's not jerky which is good yes a night time video look the moon's out I'm really happy because now I can go to work in about 25 minutes and come home in 20-25 minutes 
and it frees up the uh, EPAC bike for uh, my sons and daughters who might want to use it because it's free and they don't cost them any money to to zoom about where they need to go um, so yeah I'm quite happy about that and this was quite cheap to insure I have fully comp insurance I have breakdown assistance on that which is about 60 quid for UK breakdown just in case I have it on all my bikes and uh, it uh, it's just over £20 a month for me to insure the bike obviously no road tax you still have to go through the process of pretending to tax it but it comes up as a zero cost but you still have to go through that process with DVLA so that was done uh, but yeah mirrors are fine nice and easy to look out behind you and the bars are slightly raised on this one from 2019 they were flat bars 2021 they moved them over to slightly kinky bars so basically I've got the uh, the best spec latest spec of the bike and the upgrades have done and they've got an app for this bike now as well so I um, just asked the uh, other gentleman yesterday when I bought it to uh, unlink his phone from it and I can link mine to it and the app uh, that gives you a uh, GPS location so that's good first if it got stolen it uh, also goes through a diagnostic of the bike I'll, I'll have to do a process I'll, I'll do a video on that because I'm not too sure exactly what, it, what everything it does it's supposed to do a health check on the bike and stuff so when I got it home, I checked the tyres, weird, it's only 26 in the front, very chunky tyres there, 26 in the front, front and 30 in the back. Um, and 39 mils, um, upside down forks, I think it's something like 39, I don't know the exact spec of them. But like that, I'm going down the and she's just freewheeling just, and she'll gather pace slightly as well. So it's not like the motor's stopping it from from moving from the belt combine, combine braking so I've put the front brake on the back brake will come on as well so you don't have to use both if you want to go though you know you're a little bit of throttle and she's up to 3540 straight away so yeah going to enjoy going to work at uh, 1p a mile cost for the electric so 10 miles to work is 10p 10 miles to work coming back is 10p so two days will be a gallon in the car and that's about nine pound two days on this would be 40p so you work out the odds you know it's 40p against nine quid for two days going to work and back it's the uh, it's non you know you, you can't really odds it you can't say well I know I had to buy the bike but I wanted to buy a bike for going around anyway I had a bike before and I knew what I wanted I wanted to get that trip to save me money because the bike was cost me £55 to go to work on if I use the uh, with the bike so now it cost me uh, on five shifts it's 20p a day a pound a week that's four pound a month to go to work and back where on the bike it'd be 200 something like, I can't remember something like that ah, you know you know what I'm talking about anyway right? this is fun this is silent but did they come on you mopeds and stuff I can have ya see <laughs> funny joke so yes very happy put in mode 3 now for a while so most of my going to work is uh, looks a bit like this and then there's a there's a big 40 sorry big 50 mile an hour road when I leave work about a mile an hour two miles and there's a 40 mile an hour road It's about 40, I haven't had to put any throttle on at all. But then again, if I get more throttle, it, it, uh, it gets to a point where it, it's like now. It just pick up. 
obviously it's a 5.1 kilowatt motor, it's not like a zero. But the battery was uh, very good uh, in respect of it's 72 volts, so it's giving you the best voltage um, kick out of the uh, all the bikes. And it's 45 amp hour. So if I want to get to 40 now, I wish I had a cruise control. Right, that's 40. So use the mode 2 for 40 to use the less power. The sport mode just um, it throws more power from the battery to the oop, what's that? To the um, motor. From the battery to the motor. I've only got one bar temperature going up on the control. That's good. See there, one bar going up on the control. Not a lot of breeze, my legs are fine. I know it's summer, but my uh, legs are fine. Got used to the uh, foot pegs where they are. I took my knees in to the point where they're supposed to be, where that curve is there. happy with the bike. Uh, I'm going to check the brake pads uh, for the next, the next five days. I've got another day off. Four more days of working, I've got a day off. I'm going to check the, check the brake pads out, check them, make sure I just order some more if I need to. If I don't, if I've got quite a bit of tread, I'll be fine. But I like the number for that on the back because it's small. Um, and when I've seen the sub sub soccer T TC Maxes and you see them and you look at the back, they've got big massive number plates stuck up at the back. Uh, well this one has a slightly smaller one which is good. So that's cool. So I hope you all like and enjoying the videos. I'm gonna love you and leave you and sign off now. Uh, please like, subscribe hit that bell notification so you know the crack. So subscribe please, yeah, and just have a look at and watch some videos. Uh, they're all good ones. If you like maintenance videos, it makes a difference if they're on Zonti's bikes. If you change the spark plug on anybody, anybody's bike is uh, a certain way of doing it. And uh, you might think them jobs are easy for everybody, but they're not. People uh, need to know that how to do things. So there's tons and tons of videos, there's about a thousand videos. Of, uh, main, of maintenance videos, most of them on his bike for the refer. Again, like to other bikes, like cleaning your variator out on your scooter, how to do it. They're, all scooters have a air filter housing, then they have a variator housing. You take that off and then you get inside, and then either you've got a variator filter, if you haven't got one, then you'll have, a, you'll have an air filter that you can, you can look at, how to clean the rollers, etc. You know, in the variety rows, it's all there, so it's all good fun and all there, all there for you to have a look at. So please have a look at a few more. I'm going to love you. You've been signing off. This is Mad Mick. I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you later. Daddy, bye.